Constance Fowler came to Salem as a young woman uh, in the 1930s, and in 1935 she was hired by Willamette University to teach art and to establish the first art department here at Willamette. And she taught here for 12 years, meanwhile uh, establishing a very significant career in Oregon and the Northwest. Her early work is fairly traditional. It's part of the 1930s American scene type painting with lots of views of uh, Salem buildings, Salem scenes, Salem landscapes of that era. I think Constance Fowler's work is very turbulent um, from beginning to end. She paints very uh, vibrantly and very uh, sort of ruthlessly. She takes the uh, handle of the brush and she scrapes in. When you look at these paintings up close, you'll see that they're very worked, almost attacked really by her tools. And when she's carving her wood engravings, it's the same way, these chisel marks and so forth. They're very brusque and intense. So I think that's reflecting a couple of things probably. I think she sensed that nature is underneath it all wild. It takes its toll on these historic structures. She herself, I think, was a very intense personality, very, um, very passionate. And uh, so it's self-expression as well as a response to how she understood nature and its forces. She left this painting unfinished. She had a stroke and uh, couldn't finish it. Uh, unfinished though it may be, I think it really does uh, capture the essence of her later work. It's coastal-based waves, uh, the surging power of the sea. It's very process-oriented, which is to say she's f fascinated by letting the paint drip and flow and go its own way without trying to control it. This painting uh, is called Tracking Station and uh, dates from the early 60s. Uh, and uh, is an example of Constance Fowler's interest not only in the broad, fluid approach to abstraction, but to angular, more geometric forms as well. She kind of combines the two vocabularies in this one. So we get this kind of wild uh, apparatus uh, flung, let's just say, into outer space and sort of uh, soaring around out there. She was very, very interested in the whole dawn of the space age. Probably her greatest renown rests with a set of prints, wood engravings that she did in the late 30s, uh, and which she published as a book called The Old Days in and Near Salem, Oregon. And so the subjects range from the Jason Lee House, uh, which then ex existed in North Salem and has since been moved to Willamette Heritage Center. Waller Hall, an early building on the Willamette campus, is one of the subjects of these engravings. Brunk's Corner, the Brunk House out Highway 22 west of town, which still exists, uh, is one of her subjects. The St. Paul Church, a lot of these things are things that you could still visit. But other things that she depicted are gone. For instance, the Cook Mansion, which was directly across the street from the Capitol, one of Salem's great, you know, magnificent homes, one of many that were removed when the Capitol Mall was um, redesigned after the fire. Of so one plan would be to come to the exhibition, uh, take note of which structures still exist, and if you don't know that, there's a brochure in the, in the gallery that will tell you, and list those down and take a drive. It's, uh, you know, she did it. She drove the valley and looked at these things, and uh, why, why don't we do that too?